Hi, welcome to The Shed. My name is Mr. Levy and this is the One A Day Musicianship Challenge brought to you by Bob Rogers Travel. Today we're going to be talking about breathing and breath support. This is an essential skill for all you instrumentalists that require wind or air for your sound. Without good air support, it's hard to play in tune, it's hard to play with a great sound, and those are two essential skills and things that musicians of all ability levels should always be thinking about. So the kind of breath I want to talk to you about today is something called an O breath. So when we say the letter O, it shapes our mouth in a particular way. So go ahead, say the letter O. 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 You see what that does to your mouth? It kind of shapes it in a circular pattern. Instead of saying O out, I want you to take a breath in while saying the letter O. How do you say and breathe in? Well, you're just gonna breathe in and think the O syllable. So let's try that. That's the type of breath I want you to get into taking. So you're gonna be filling up your lungs like that, filling up a lot of air in a little bit of time. So that's our O breath. Now the next thing I want you to do is I want you to take your finger like you're shushing someone, okay? And instead of going shh, out, I want you to breathe in with that O breath and listen to the sound that it makes. <sighs> Hear that strong whoosh of air? That is a good deep breath. You're breathing from the bottom of your lungs. That's what I always tell my students. Breathe from the bottom of your lungs. <sighs> Fill up quick air, whoosh of air. Now that we've talked about the O breath inhale, let's talk about exhaling or expelling the air that we now have stored in our lungs, okay? So one of the things that we need to do is we need to get that air moving faster at the beginning of our exhale. So we're gonna be thinking about the syllable two. So when you say two, it takes your tongue and it kind of shoots it forward, okay? So we breathe in, now we exhale, so. So a strong whoosh of air at the beginning. That is a great way to get your air moving faster at the start of your exhale. At this point, we've talked about our inhale and exhale. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a target. And we're gonna play a game I like to refer to as target practice. So you're gonna to need to locate some stuff that are probably really easily, might even be right next to you. So you're gonna need a few items. First thing you're gonna need is a pair of scissors. Next thing you're gonna need is a index card. If you don't have an index card, that's okay. You can use a regular old sheet of paper. If it's got lines on it, cool construction paper, basically any paper that you have laying around. It could be even scraps, okay? And then you're gonna wanna find a Sharpie of some kind. So we're gonna take our index card. I'm gonna use this. And I'm gonna create a square about, I don't know, yay big, okay? So now I have a little square. And on that square, I am going to draw a target, okay? So I'm gonna do a circle and then an X through it. It's gonna look like that, okay? We're gonna use this target as a way to focus our airstream. So when you're gonna use this, you wanna direct your airstream right at where those two lines intersect. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do after we've made our little target is we're gonna do target practice. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this sheet of paper and you are gonna put it right against the wall like so. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna stand as close to it as you need to, to direct your air to hold it against the wall, okay? So you're gonna take your O breath in, and then you're gonna exhale with a two. And you wanna get that piece of paper to stick to the wall. So blow against it, holding it with your finger, and then move your finger away and see how long you can hold it against the wall. All right, now let's see how well I can do at this. So holding it against the wall, take your inhale O breath. Just like that. So keep working on your target practice. This is an activity that you can use with your friends. You could do it with your other classmates. You could do it with your parents, younger siblings. See how long you can get that piece of paper to stick against the wall with just your air. So as always, keep practicing it until you own it, and we'll see you in the shed.